quick, I'm Cameron Smythe. I'm proud to be the mayor uh, here in the city of Santa Clarita. Uh, it is uh, another uh, tremendous... Oh, hey, thank you. I know who started that. Thank you. Thank you. My, my mom isn't even here, and someone else started the, the applause. So um, I'll remember that. Let me know if you have a street light or anything that needs work. No. Um, thank you all again very much for coming, for being here in, uh, in Old Town uh, to uh, honor... Uh, our two latest uh, inductees uh, into our Western Walk of Stars. Uh, and before we get into that, I just want to introduce a few folks uh, that have helped make uh, make this uh, possible. Uh, certainly we have our mayor pro tem, Lorene West, is, is here. <clears throat> our own Hopalong City Council member, Marsha McLean in her boot. I don't know if you can see. We also have uh, a number of our uh, Parks Commissioner, City Staff, uh, and if you guys all could just raise your hand, those have been the people behind the scenes that are working hard to make uh, our Cowboy Festival great. Phil and his team, uh, thank you guys very much. And we also have uh, our former uh, city council member, but uh, now state assembly member Dante Acosta is, uh, is here as well. And lastly, I do want to thank uh, our uh, Heritage Sierra Medical Group. Uh, which is our title sponsor for this year's uh, Cowboy Festival. And uh, without their support and all of our community partners, uh, we wouldn't have had as tremendous an event uh, as we have. I'm sure all of you have, uh, have been, spent some time over at the festival. And again, it's been a tremendous, a tremendous success uh, for our community. Uh, this year was also a little bit more unique, a little more special because we are celebrating our 30th anniversary, our 30th birthday uh, here in the city of Santa Clarita. And hopefully you got a chance to sign uh, the birthday card that was on display uh, or search for uh, Sammy Clarita. Uh, and this year, Sammy Clarita is kind of our stuffed animal, kind of our, uh, our theme of throughout the 30th birthday celebration. Uh, will be more opportunities to look for him uh, during uh, other events throughout the year. Uh, the Cowboy Festival, as you know, is really a celebration of our city's Western heritage and those who have memorialized that heritage uh, throughout Western television and film. Over the years, we've had the opportunity to celebrate a few special men and women who have blazed the trail for America's cinematic history and shaped the city of Santa Clarita through the Western Walk of Stars. This year, three additional stars will be added, uh, including Andre and Rene Valuze, uh, longtime community residents, absolutely. And uh, Andre and Renault, I got that. Thank you, Renault, my bad. Uh, you know, Andre Renault and also uh, our other honoree, Bo Hopkins. Bo, right here. They will join 91 other Western legends uh, on this walk, including Gene Autry, Roy Rogers, Dale Evans, David Carradine, Sam Elliott, and William, of course, William S. Hart. Uh, so, our first honorees today, we want to uh, bring up uh, Andre and Renault. Uh, Andre and Renault, come on up, guys. Come on up. You know, as kids, they marveled at the world of film, and especially uh, Western film. And that fascination stayed with them until adulthood. And after, fire, after a fire demolished parts of Melody Ranch in 1962, Gene Autry began selling pieces of what was left of the property. In November of 1990, the last 10 acres where the original buildings had stood went on the market. Renault and Andre, along with their father Paul, purchased it, and restored a Melody Ranch motion picture studio to its original glory. At the time, they also owned a large movie ranch in Haskell Canyon and motion picture vehicle rental business. For 21 years, Melody Ranch was home to the Santa Clarita Cowboy Festival. And today, the ranch is very active with television, commercial, and video filming, uh, once the set for Deadwood and now Westworld. And through their ownership of Melody Ranch, the Values A's have shared their childhood fascination for Western films with the next generation. And we are thrilled to add these two Santa Clarita locals to the Western Walk of Stars and have them with us today. And at this time, I'd like to ask uh, both Assemblymember Acosta and Mayor Pro Tem uh, West to uh, provide uh, some recognition as well. Assemblymember? Thank you very much. It's a little different being here and not being on the city council. And um, I'm really truly honored to be able to represent such wonderful constituents and friends, uh, both Renault 
and his uh, his brother Andre are, uh, are, are have become good friends, and they do a wonderful job uh, at Melody Ranch, and we're truly honored to have them in our community, continuing to to press and foster uh, the community. I do want to make a one correction for Mayor Smythe in addition to the pronunciation of uh, your name, uh, your name. So. Um, my dad has a, a, a star as well, a saddle as well, right down the street. So he mentioned he forgot to mention Rodolfo Costa. So uh, oh, uh, you know, and and forget John that. Uh, John Wayne. Yeah, I mentioned. We could keep going. We could keep I, going. I we could keep going. <laughs> you didn't forget. You know, I mentioned it. You and I mentioned it. Okay. Yeah. He said, "Well, you don't have one, so there you go." I said, "Okay, there you go." But it truly is fantastic. Um, I am blessed to serve on the Arts and Entertainment Committee, continuing to to foster in, uh, in Sacramento, to continue to foster in the state legislature the importance of film and, and entertainment and tourism industry for the uh, for the entire uh, region, frankly. But the 38th Assembly District has, uh, last count, about a dozen movie ranches and studios and sound stages uh, facilities. And it's really, truly remarkable that um, our community is highlighted so much. We even have a recent uh, TV show that's Tied on Santa Maria diet, so if you haven't seen that, that's interesting. Uh, but uh, to the values A's, uh, I wanted to just say thank you for, so much for your, your continued leadership in the community and present you with these uh, certificates uh, from my office as you're in, uh, being inducted into the Walk of Western Stars here in, in New Hall, California. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Thanks. Guys. You, at least you you don't mix them up. Man. Thank you. We got a picture here. Let's see those guys. Turn around. Turn around. There we go. Here we go. There we go. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Hey. So here we are. So I just want to introduce you to uh, these two guys, the way I know them. Uh, they are truly cowboys. Uh, they, they can ride and rope and brand with the best of them. And they are rugged. And I consider them not only friends, but extended family. And um, I love them both. And I'm very proud to see them inducted today because they carry forth the legacy and the heritage of what this valley is. And you are in the most prominent Southern California area for filming and movie ranching and cowboys and first gold and first oil, this is the place. Uh, quick story, uh, we all love Melody Ranch and I think it's pretty special. So we have, we're ready to have our first cowboy festival in 1994 and then nature told course and we had a little earthquake. And the uh, location which was the uh, auditorium uh, had a little asbestos problem and I got a call and um, Andre and Renault to the rescue uh, we're happy to open up Melody Ranch to the city and the rest is history it was a phenomenal success and here I am today 24 years later having the best festival western heritage in cowboy country in the nation so I'm pretty proud of both of these gentlemen they deserve to be here and give them a big hand congratulations to Andre and Renaud Valise being inducted into the Western Walk of Fame here in 2017. They are awesome. They are the best, and we're very proud of them. Mike out of the way. Mike, come Mike. For this. There we go. There we go. words never turn a pastor loose uh -oh. behind the microphone. <laughs> but I do recall Amen. 65 years ago I come out of Saugus off of a cattle ranch where I grew up chasing one of our bulls that got loose all the way into this town and tied him to a telephone pole right past the old Safeway store and the sheriffs come out and said when are you going to move this bull? I said when we can get the old truck started. But that was years and years ago, and uh, I never dreamed I'd be in this Western Walk of Fame, but it's an honor. And uh, I can remember my first car, which I still have, which I, I sold my brother. Okay. <laughs> 28 Model A, coming down through Newhall, and I was about 
Levin, and we had some spies telling us where the three sheriffs was so I could make it over to that Rexall drugstore on the corner, get one of them big malls for 20 cents, <laughs> and uh, then sneak back home to the beef cornfield. But anyway, it's an honor, once again, to receive this. But I never dreamed that uh, this would ever happen many, many years ago. But dreams never die. If you let dust get on them, they will. But I always keep dreams moving. And I think this is great. And you know, you want to say something? Well, I was just going to say, <clears throat> well, when we was in high school, we used to drive up and down this street so many times that all around this town. And we never thought, I never thought, we'd ever be in the sidewalk. Totally, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> it's an honor for us to have this, and we really appreciate it. Thank you very much. I just got a chance to shake Bo's hand a few minutes ago, which we worked together on Rockford Files. He did three or four shows on that, and uh, he's and he hasn't changed. Where are you at, Bo? There. And uh, he's still good and still young at heart. Well, anyway, I'm honored again once to be here. Well, thank you. And uh, like I said, just logistically, after uh, we present uh, Bo, then, uh, then we'll move over and uh, do the unveilings uh, together. Uh, certainly, uh, our next recipient uh, here is, uh, is Bo Hopkins. Uh, Bo has been in over 100 films, 34 of them uh, being Westerns. He started his acting career playing rough and rowdy cowboys and eventually, in the 80s and 90s, played more roles as the small town sheriff. Some of his iconic roles include appearances in Western TV shows like Gunsmoke, Bonanza, The Virginian, and The Wild Wild West, not to mention The Rockford Files. Uh, he also appeared in many other Western films, including The Wild Bunch, Monty Walsh, and The Man Who Loved Cat Dancing. In 1995, he was the recipient of the Golden Boot Award, an acknowledgement of achievement for individuals who have made significant contributions to the genre of Western television and movies. And we are also honored uh, to welcome Bo Hopkins to the Western Walk of Stars. And I would like to invite uh, he, as well as again, Assemblymember Acosta to the podium uh, to say a few words and receive a few uh, honorees. So Assemblymember, you're up first. Thank you, Mayor. Well, it just goes to show you that uh, how many people we can continue to uh, bring up that have made a, an incredible impact on the entertainment industry here in Southern California and in this region. And, and uh, Bo is no, uh, no exception. And you've done a, a, an amazing, had an amazing career and done an amazing job uh, promoting your craft and continue to do that. I mean, I know you've lived down in uh, the North Hollywood area for decades and decades. So still uh, you can still, you're still there. Fantastic. Well, thank you for coming up here. And on behalf of my office and the California State Legislature. I'd like to uh, welcome you on up. Come on up. I'll present yeah. you with a certificate. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Right here, guys. Right Thank you. One more. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. One more for you. One more. Okay. All right. I'd like to bring up uh, Councilmember McLean as well. It's the not so golden boot. Yeah, no, okay, I'll just do it this way. Um, uh, this is a, a wonderful culmination of a wonderful weekend of our 24th Cowboy Festival. I am so honored and happy that our city is taking such um, a role and making sure that our film heritage, which is quite substantial here in Santa Clarita, and is such a wonderful thing to have, and I'm honored that you're here to accept this, and I just want to say once again, our Western Walk of Stars is helping to create a new, new hall, and Old Town New Hall, and just thank you so much for being here. We're very happy and honored that you're here to accept this award. Thank you.
<laughs> That's the shot. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, man. Here, bro, let me grab those. Okay. Thank you. Just trade places with you. All right, well, let's welcome Bo Hopkins to the podium, our newest honoree. Yes. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Uh, over the years, I've shot a few pictures out this way, so I'm glad to be out here good now. Uh, better to be on top than the bottom. Uh, this is a great honor, and I certainly appreciate it, because anytime you can be on the street with William S. Hart and uh, Roy and Dale and Gene, it's, uh, it's a real honor. When I first got into Hollywood, uh, I, I got a job parking cars at the Continental Hotel, and I was going to Desi Lou at that time. I got a scholarship. And Gene Autry owned the uh, hotel at that time, 